Okay, so um, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna do some examples of rational expressions slash functions. Um, so I have here a couple of examples of some rational expressions. Um, so just two. What is a rational expression? A rational expression is basically a fraction, but polynomials are on the top or the bottom. So what, you know, you simplify, you deal with rational expressions or functions similarly to how you would um, a fraction. So, you know, when we get to like adding and subtracting and multiplying or dividing, if you know how to deal with fractions, then it's okay for rational expressions and functions. Let's just start simplifying first. We'll start with a nice situation like this one, where we have a monomial on top and a monomial on the bottom. So I want to simplify this. Now, you're looking for what is in common on the top and on the bottom, right? Um, so what is in common? Well, here, let me use yellow. It looks like I have a three, just focus on the numbers first, um, a three on the top, a 27 on the bottom, and they're both divisible by three. So I can cross this out, three goes into three once, and three goes into 27 nine times. So I can simplify the numbers. This is only for a monomial and a monomial, okay? If I don't have that, then I do something different. So monomial and monomial, simplify the numbers first, and then let's look at the variables. Now I have x squared on top, and x to the fourth on the bottom. So I have the same base, but different exponents. And I have technically two, right, x's, x times x on top, and four of them, x times x times x times x on the bottom. So what do they have in common? I can cancel out two of them. So when I cancel out two here, I'm left with basically, you know, nothing or one times one. And when I cancel out two of these, I'm left with an x squared. So basically the difference between the two exponents. So when I simplify and I rewrite this on the top, I have a one times one, that's all on the, on the top left. And on the bottom, I have a nine times x squared, nine x squared. You'll notice that there's nothing else in common on top and on the bottom. And this is my basic simplified rational expression for this case. Now, this is how I approach a monomial and a monomial. You're not, you know, obviously you're not always gonna have that case because a rational expression could be any polynomial in the numerator and any polynomial in the denominator like this one. Here we go. I have a binomial on top and a trinomial on the bottom. So what you wanna do if you have a situation like this, I can't just cancel x squareds. You can only cancel things in the numerator and the denominator if there's multiplication in between. So there's subtraction, subtraction. I cannot, I am not allowed to cross these out. I have to factor first, factor the numerator, factor the denominator. You're gonna need some, some good factoring skills for rational expressions, okay? So if you need to brush up on that, then go ahead and brush up on that because you're gonna struggle here if you do not know your factoring skills or have your factoring skills down. In the numerator, I'm gonna rewrite this, factored. And this I recognize as a special factoring case. It's a difference of squares which factors into an x plus three and an x minus three. So that is now, instead of x squared minus nine, x plus three x times x minus three. The denominator, let's see, backwards foil kind of thing. Well, what times what gives me x squared? x times x. And what times what gives me positive six? I'll try a three and a two, a minus and a minus, because my outer is gonna give me negative two x. My inner is gonna give me negative three x which will give me that negative five X. So now the X squared minus five X plus six is factored into an X minus three times an X minus two. And however you guys factor is fine. I use trial and error method. Um, if you wanna see how I do that, you can go into my videos of factoring quickly, but whatever method you guys use is fine. Just make sure you get the same thing that I do. Now, um, I'll rewrite it before I simplify. I don't typically rewrite this, but um, X plus three times X minus three on top and then an x minus three times an x minus two on the bottom. And so now this is my factor form and I have product and product. I can only cancel things if I have multiplication in the numerator, multiplication in the denominator. And now I look for things that are in common. And it looks like I have an x minus three on the top and an x minus three on the bottom. And now they can go because of the product in between. And so the x minus threes, they cancel out. 
big arm. And I'm left with on top x plus three and on the bottom x minus two, which cannot be simplified anymore. Am I allowed to cancel these x's? No, because I have a plus and a minus. There's no product and product. So this is all I have left. And that is my final simplified rational expression from here. So if you have a monomial on top and a monomial on the bottom, then you could just you know, cancel similar numbers or whatever, like we did here. But if you have a non-monomial, if you have a binomial, a trinomial, whatever you have in terms of a polynomial in the numerator and the denominator, you need to factor them first so that you have like factors that you can cancel on the top and on the bottom. So this is just simplifying rational expressions. Okay, so let's look at next. Um, we'll do addition and subtraction.